If you guys remember, at the end of season seven, Paul and I went to Big Apple Con in New York, and we stumbled upon arguably one of the coolest things, and we blacked out. We supported them hard AF. We bought a ton of packs. Invisible comic book boards. So this is an invention that has apparently been around for a little while. We did not know about it. I've never heard of it. Now we know about it and we are absolutely obsessed. So the folks over at Slab Pro, they came out with these invisible comic backboards. These boards are completely acid free. They are 40 millimeters thick, which is much thicker than a regular half back. It's Mm, a little bit thinner than a fullback. As you can see, they look to not be completely invisible. However, that is because they each come that is because they each come with their own protective shield on them. They come in packs of 10, and we are happy to say that for this particular video, you are going to be able to get these at a discount. After Big Apple Con, we reached out to the good folks at Slab Pro and asked them if it would be okay if we did a video. And what we wanted to do is try and pass along some type of savings or some type of promo on you guys. So we're happy to report that you can get these packs of these Slab Pro Invisible Comic Boards for $7.95 for a pack of 10, where they are normally $9.95 for a pack of 10. Go to slab-pro.com slash comic trips and the discount code will automatically be populated. So I grabbed the WWE comic number one. It's the Tate's variant. That's right, I got this in Florida. As you can see, I bagged and boarded it with a plain old, uh, plain old comic board. What's on the back of the comic? I don't know, because I bagged and boarded it with a regular old white board. It comes with film on the front and back, so you're gonna wanna peel that off. Get yourself somebody that's got some nails. Can you actually remove the backing board on there, please? They also come in Silver Age as well. You're gonna have to specify if you decide to order any of these, do you want modern or do you want silver and bronze age? Oh, look, I can see what's on the back now. But it's not protected. Where was this invention? Like a year ago. Well, it was out, we just didn't know about oh, it. Oh, 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 I ripped my bag. Oh. Noobs. <laughs> Oh, that's so satisfying. You guys, so boom. You go from here to here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. That's weird, this comic isn't showing up on the screen. You can't see it. I've seen enough of your antics. It just looks so much nicer. And the board has like such a good weight to it that like it's not like super bendy and I feel like it's being protected while letting me view the back of the comic. It's very rigid. It's much more sturdy than normal comic board. Granted, these are going to be more expensive than normal comic book boards. The key issues in these though. Right, this is going to be for people who very, very much want to have kind of like archival storage of their comic books. You throw one of these bad boys in a mylar and your comic is basically good forever because even changing these things a lot of people we forget to change these all yeah, the time you should change them these one and done have to, yeah one and also done. these will be great for comics that are like wraparound covers yes a lot of modern like books connecting books variant books and connecting books are wraparound covers yeah or they have something dope on the back like i did not even know that this existed on the back of the comic i'm intrigued to see i'm gonna get my postage scale over here right and i'm gonna see because something that we're gonna to have to take into consideration is, if you have, say, like 100 of these books, how much is the book gonna weigh with a cardboard board compared to how much it weighs with one of those? Okay. Did you like Bill Nye? Yeah, I know. So, a regular comic book board is 0.6 of an ounce. This is, this is a good experiment here because you know, weight is a factor. You're literally like Paul and I, the science guy. How much is that? two ounces. One of these weighs as much as three of these. So if you are putting a bunch of these in a box, please remember that this is going to probably up the weight of the box considerably. However, the ability to preserve your comic book and never have to change the back ever again is worth it. Whether you have old books, whether you have new books, it seems like this is an option for someone who wants to really keep their books in great shape. This isn't gonna, it's not gonna 
It's not gonna fold like either. I don't like it. Because if I do this with a regular board, that already Aww. folds. You know what I mean? I'll throw but, it in the trash. But that's not gonna do that. I mean, this is just clutch. The way that we collect comic books as well, too, we are so extremely particular of the condition of our comic books. We treat them very, very carefully. And this right here, when we saw this at Big Apple Con, we just, we fell in love. We bought 50, five. we bought five packs, right. and then he gifted us another pack of modern. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for the video from Big Apple Con. We had a blast there, it was our first time going, even though it's New York's longest running comic book show. We met up with John, there's a small little interview in there with him. What we're actually gonna be able to do in this video is we're going to do a little bit of a... Give away, give away, we're gonna do what the mother... So five people are going to win two comics. You're either going to get an you're going to get an ominous press and a Justice League Suicide Squad number one, mm -hmm. or you're going to get an ominous press and Star Wars: The Force Awakens comic, all that have the clear backing boards. Five so winners. Five winners. All we need you to do is leave a comment down below with. If you were to get a set of these, what would be your favorite book to put in one? Yeah, what would you put in one? What book do you want to see in one of these clear backing boards? We are going to pull the winner on August 4th. You're going to get two comics. You're either going to get Ominous Press and Suicide Squad Justice League, or you're going to get Ominous Press and Star Wars Force Awakens. So that's excited. And we just want to give a giant thank you and shout out to Slab Pro for providing today's giveaway. We also want to say thank you so much for offering a discount code to our subscribers. You guys, these boards, I mean, it's a probably no brainer at this point that they are, they are very much recommended by comic trips. So comic trips approved, these are so dope. If all of my wasn't in storage, I would just go bagging and boarding, but I'm waiting until we get into the new house to start going ham on these boards. We did this video because a lot of people saw them on the episode and they wanted to hear more about them. So that's why we contacted Slab Pro. And because of that, you guys can get a 20% off discount on your packs of these boards. We will leave a link in the description below for that as well. Fairly easy peasy. We just want to give a quick review on these things because we love them. We have fallen in love with them and we're going to keep getting them. Thank you Slab Pro for working with us on this. Go to the link in the description below for your discount code to pick up some for $7.95 instead of $9.95. There's only one thing left to do, guys. Autobots, roll out. Do it. We're rolling out. Rolling out. Rolling out. I'm sweating because I want to see if it'll stick to my head. Uh, I think you're too sweaty to have that happen. <laughs> Why, you're immature. Excuse me. Mm-hmm.